Hey, I'm Johannes of NewGadgets.de and in this video I'm going to have a look at the new Tag Heuer Connected Caliber E4 that was just introduced a few days ago and I got the exclusive chance to review it as one of the first ones and yeah, I'm looking forward to have a look at it and if you're interested in the previous generations, I reviewed all of the Tag Heuer Connected smartwatches, you will find links down in the video description. Tag Heuer introduced two versions, 42mm and 45mm. I also had a look at the 42mm version, which is great for everyone with a smaller wrist. So I think it will also be very interesting for women. And a quick wristwatch check, I'm wearing the Tag Heuer Connected Caliber E3 from 2020, which is the predecessor of this watch. So in this video, I'm also going to compare both watches. And if you're into technology, Give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell button so you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. And now let's check out the watch. Of course we will start with an unboxing. When you open the outer box, you will find a nice watch box that reminds me of the second generation Takoya Connected Module 45 or Caliber E2. And as a watch enthusiast, I really like nice watch boxes. Underneath there's also the manual and a microfiber cloth. When we open the watch box, the first we see is the connected caliber E4 and also a QR code that will guide you to the Tag Heuer website with a first step guide for your new smartwatch. When removing the cover, you will also find the accessories, the new charging pad, the USB charger and a USB-C cable. Let's check out the design. As I said before, there are two versions. We have the 42mm version, and we will start with that one. The design is a bit different from the 45mm version. It is more classy, more elegant and suitable for smaller wrists. It has a smaller case and also a smaller bezel covered with a slightly curved sapphire glass. The crown on 3 o'clock is stainless steel and there are also two pushers at 2 and 4 o'clock. The 45mm version is a bit different, it is more sporty, the sapphire glass is flat and it is surrounded by the ceramic bezel. The stainless steel crown is rubberized for a better grip and we also have two pushers at 2 and 4 o'clock. And the 45mm version is also available with a titanium case, which is black. And now let's compare the Caliber E3 that was introduced in 2020 with the new Caliber E4. The Caliber E3 was already a beautiful watch and that's why there are only subtle design updates. The crown of the E4 is a bit bigger and I really like it and it looks great. The pushers are also a bit sleeker. Also the rubber strap got a design update. It has a better ventilation which will be of course great for summer. And there are now markings for up and down which will help you when you attach the bracelet. And now let's check out the technical specifications. The 42mm version has a 1.28 inch OLED and a resolution of 416 by 416 pixels and a pixel density of 326 ppi. The 45mm version has a 1.39 inch OLED with a resolution of 454 by 454 pixels with the same pixel density of 326 ppi. Both watches are using the Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 4100 Plus quad-core SoC with 1.7 GHz. And thanks to the new efficient SoC, the 45mm version will get 30% more battery life compared to its predecessor. In just one and a half hours the battery is charged again and the new charging pad looks pretty cool compared to the old one. But it is also less compact as you can see. Let's talk about connectivity. The watch offers you Bluetooth 5 and Wi-Fi 802.11abgn. Of course there's also GPS and NFC. There's a heart rate sensor, an accelerometer, compass, gyroscope and barometer. So everything that you need to track all your sport activities in all detail. The operating system is Google Wear OS 2, but once available it will be also updated to Google Wear 3. And now let's talk about the different models, the prices and the availability. So the Tag Heuer Connected Caliber E442mm will be available with a steel case 
and we have the rubber strap and it will cost 1,800 US dollars. If you want the leather strap, you pay 1,900 US dollars and it's also available with a steel bracelet and that will cost you 2,000 US dollars. The Takoya Connected Caliber E4 with 45mm will be available in a steel case and a black titanium case. It starts with 2050 US dollar for the steel case with rubber strap, 2250 US dollars for the steel case and the steel bracelet, and 2500 US dollars for the titanium case with the rubber strap. Starting March 10, the smartwatch will be available in the Takoya boutiques, the Takoya website, and of course at the Takoya authorized dealers. And that was my review of the Takoya Connected Caliber E4. If you have any questions about the watch, just leave me a comment down in the comment section and I will try to answer it as soon as possible. The Connected Caliber E4 is a great update with a slightly nicer design and updated hardware. If you already own the Connected Caliber E3, you don't necessarily have to change because it's still a great smartwatch. But if you need the longer battery life and you really want the new hardware that will be future-proof for upcoming Google Wear versions, the Connected Caliber E4 will be the better watch for you. For me, the Takoya Connected is still the most elegant smartwatch with the best build quality out there. It's already the fourth generation and if you're interested in the previous generations, check out the video descriptions because I added all the links to all of my Takoya Connected videos because I reviewed all of them and they will also be shown and linked at the end of this video. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the bell button. I mean, you know how YouTube works. So thanks for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.